Hello and welcome to Trivia Galaxy. What we'd like to do today is to recount our top five favorite moments of Kirk on Gilmer Girls. He was meant to be a one-time character, and his first appearance was as a DSL installer at Lorelei's house. At that time, he introduced himself as Mick, and I don't think we were meant to see him again. Yet, he was so good in the part that he returns as the swan delivery person at the Independence Inn, and after that, he goes on to have a number of jobs in Stars Hollow, everything from being the postman to being a video store clerk and even working at the beauty supply. The number of jobs that Kirk takes on in Stars Hollow appears to be endless. And over time, we get to learn a lot more about him. And despite him being kind of a weird man-child, he also becomes quite lovable. So some of my favorite scenes for Kirk include him being the dog sitter, where he creates funny games for the dogs, and I just thought it was great. In this scene, a new job that Kirk manages to take on was a dog sitter slash dog walker. And rather than just being a typical dog walker, he created games for the dogs. So one of the things that he did was to cut one loose and let him try and find them. And in this scene, it was the cute little Snuggles who runs around looking for them and runs towards them in this really cute scene and all of the dogs celebrate in the end. Again, we see Luke being the counterbalance to Kirk in this particular scene and it works really well in terms of the humor and exuberance that we see from Kirk. Our next favorite scene for Kirk was when he was in the elementary school play version of Fiddler on the Roof, and he plays the leading role of Tevya. It was so funny how throughout this scene, he was treated like one of the little kids. He would sit in the circle, he would raise his hand to indicate if his mom was going to be coming to the play, and he also raised his hand to go use the washroom. So I think that was a great comedic use of Kirk, and he did a really good job with the play in the end. The third best moment of Kirk on the Gilmore Girls has to be the Festival of Living Pictures, when he got the role of Jesus in Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. I love this festival. I think it's such a great event, and I would actually love to go see or participate in something like this. For Kirk, he was really thrilled to get the role of Jesus, and you could see him high-fiving his apostles and suggesting they go to Shakey's. However, when Kirk meets Judas, he is very, very rude, and he's giving him dirty looks all the time, and excludes him from going to Shakey's with the others, and there were lots of kind of biblical jokes in between, and in the end, they end up getting into a fight just before they were about to go on stage. The next best moment for Kirk on Gilmer Girls would be his first date with the really sweet Lulu. And we are so happy that he finally has a love interest. And initially, when he first had this date set, he thought about having it at home in his mother's house. And it was Lorelai who suggested that he go out for dinner and go somewhere that he's comfortable. So his comfort spot, of course, was Luke's diner. So Kirk goes through the trouble of scouting out the diner first, trying to reserve three tables so he can decide at a later point which would be the best one, and finally Luke agreeing to reserve the table, and Kirk even going as far to ask how much for the place upstairs in case the date goes well. 
Another odd thing that Kirk does is to rehearse the date in front of a video camera so that he could practice conversations, expressions, different meals, and the idea was to watch the video at the end so he can improve upon the date. So after all these preparations, the date finally begins with Lulu, and things are going really well, and Kirk seems to panic because apparently he tried to give her opportunities to leave, he went to the washroom, she's still there, she's having a great time, and she even touches him. So in a panic, he goes to ask Luke for advice to find out what's going on, and his response was, just go back there and do what you've been doing and buckle up cowboy because she might just touch you again. Kirk and Lulu go on to have a pretty sweet relationship. However, a couple of years later, Kirk starts to take Lulu for granted and he feels that she's smothering him. So he plans to break up with her and he tells Luke about it. Luke then turns around to set him straight by saying, you are lucky that you have a sweet girl like that looking out for you. And he also said, if you say one unkind word to her, I'm going to break your bones. So Luke sets him straight. In our final best moment of Kirk, we have him selling wrapping paper to Miss Patty, and he's actually competing with middle school students. So everyone's pointing out that what the students are doing is a fundraiser, and his response is, well, I'm not a school. Nobody is fundraising for me. So at the end of the episode, we have the middle schoolers coming into the diner and there's a showdown between them and Kirk and they invite him outside. So we hope you enjoyed these top five best moments of Kirk. If you have other favorite Kirk moments, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, or please check out the Gilmore Girls merch on the link in the description below. Thank you!